It is Flammer, and as I said in the last video, I got the 3D printer. It is huge. It's huge. It is. It is 40 by 40 by 45 in the z-axis centimeters of printing space. It is huge, and I love it. Um, uh, it came in post on Thursday, and I spent the whole Friday after school putting it together, calibrating it, and printing my first things. So, this is the first thing I printed. If you cannot tell, these are train buggies. So, like, four wheels of a train. And there will be two of them. No. Mm. So this is a printed version of this, which I built some time ago. Uh, these are made of metal washers and pieces of PVP pipe, and they run on a rubber band attached to the motor, and it works quite well. This could be turning, but then I designed a version with gears. So there is like a gear train here, and there, this is the power axle. So if this turns, the wheels are turning. But it turned out that there is so much drag in between the gears here that it is quite hard to spin it. And then after some time, the tooth here, as you can see here broke uh, so today uh, by the way this took four hours and 40 minutes to print and then around one and a half hour to put it together with super glue and to cut the axis out of wood and toothpicks well, not too sure toothpicks like <laughs> shashlik picks <laughs> Like this. Yeah, but then the gear broke and it's kind of useless now. I mean, it still runs quite good, but it's on this broken tooth. It, yeah, you can see it. It, skips and it doesn't really work that well. So today I'll be redesigning it so it can run the same way as this one, so it's on a rubber band. Uh, because I just think it is much better and works much smoother than the gears because of the drag in between each of the tooth 